it's Faye. First of all, just don't mind my hair. It's drying. I don't care. Today's video is another Yes Style Lip Hop haul for big booby girls in Asia. Clothes run a lot smaller, so technically I'm considered like a large or maybe even a plus size. I don't know. But what I know is I like trying all these one size clothes that apparently fit everyone. But we'll see. Before we get into this thousand dollar haul, I just want to mention that today's supposed to be our check-in date, August 13th, for our 10,000 challenge. I contemplated over this for a little while, but I decided that I'm not gonna do a dedicated video to this. As you guys know, for like the third time in a row, I hurt my ankle really bad. And that happened over a week ago. From that time until now, I'm still recovering. Had to stop walking, of course. I couldn't put pressure on my ankle. I just didn't do any kind of physical activity, resting as much as I could. Therefore, I I didn't reach all of my 10,000 steps a day or at least four or five times a week. However, I did do it for two weeks straight and I did lose about two pounds, which I'm super happy because I was eating really clean. Of course, I wanted to sit down and talk and address some things, but I feel like I want to take my thoughts and really elaborate them. And I hope you guys understand that I do feel disappointed in myself because I wasn't able to carry out my 10,000 steps. I just had chicken wings. In another video, sooner than later, I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about certain things. Um, I hope you guys aren't disappointed in the whole check-in day. I am and I've been really hard on myself, but I can't help that I need to heal my ankle. Let's just hop into the haul for my big booby girls. So in these two boxes right here, I bought some things from YesStyle and we're gonna try it together. Maybe some of these things are good for back to school and maybe some things aren't. If you're in college, then well, so half of you guys are probably doing school from home, so. Oh, <laughs> of course, lilac. I bought a whole set. They're short. So already I can tell this tank top is a little flimsy. And also there's not really like a front or back. Ignore my straps today. Okay, I'm kind of nervous about these shorts because it looks a little small. I mean, look at it. You know that trick where you wrap it around your neck? Asian parents, bruh. <laughs> There is this cardigan top piece. Pretty loose as well. You can tell the fabric, right? And it has these button down buttons. There we go. Do we like it? Oh, there's pockets right here. I really do like how loose fitting this feels. It's so light. I see myself wearing this in the morning. It is going to start getting cooler because of fall. And this fabric is so light that I don't feel like you'll feel warm. That's something to note. I kind of really like this actually. Only the first piece and I'm obsessed. I can hop now on one leg. Maybe this is more fall-like. Also, by the way, I wiped all of these down beforehand, so just in case you're like, oh my god, hey. This is like a knitted wool top. <gasps> Very cute. Such a fall vibe. I see myself wearing like a bando underneath. I want to have like clear shoulders. Actually, this is not just a fall piece or a transition piece. I see myself wearing this at the beach as well on top of my bathing suit. It is a little bit heavy on the body. As you can tell, it just kind of hangs. But I like that. There's some quality to this. This piece has multi-purpose to it. So you can wear it as a transition piece into fall or like during the summer with a bathing suit underneath or something. You can wear it all year round. I'm not gonna say this again, but you guys know I love sets. So for this haul, you're gonna see a lot of that. Ooh, quality. This is different. <laughs> I mean, not that they don't have quality. This is like really sturdy. Feels like an athletic top. It was a little snug. My arms might be too big for this. Ooh, these are the sweatpants. It has a very rigid cut for the band up here, and then it scrunches down on the bottom. There are pockets. This is cute. Oh my god, this is cute. Is this not cute? This is so cute. I just have to double check and make sure that it's cute and it's cute. This top is actually super fitting to the body, as you can tell. Again, that's because the busticles are making it super tight. You can kind of see the squeezing yourself. But because of that, I feel a little squishy down here. And it feels nice. It's not an uncomfortable squishy. Sitch. Squishing. The pants are wide and loose as well. Because I am short, you can see that it just kind of scrunches up at the bottom like this. I'm gonna have to roll it up a bit so there's not so much extra fabric that it starts looking like a jasmine pants on me. Not a big fan of this sleeve area right here because my arms are chunkier. My arms look a little bit like too snug right here. See, this is the squishy that I don't like. This is the squishy that I don't mind. Because of this rigid pattern on the band itself, it really brings in that waist. So it gives you a little bit more room. A little bit more room, less restriction. For the most part, I feel confident and I feel like a power woman because the color is so bold. It just radiates off that energy. So if you want to boost yourself a bit, something pink like that. So this is a bustier top, all about the bust. There is a stretch to this, so let's see if it's suffocating. On um, the tatas, 
Ta-ta. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is it feels a little bit tight around the armpits again. What I do like about this is that it comes up to the point where you can kind of hide in that extra armpit fat area. Appreciate that. Oh, ignore like the sweatpants. It does go down to here. I love how nice and fitting it is around the boobage. Does it look a little lapsed on it? Normally shirts like this. Sometimes I find that the outline of the chesticle area can be like kind of high and cut me halfway, which is rude. I feel like this actually fits entirely. Don't be playing me. I just love this color. Can we just take a moment for the straps? I will admit, they do kind of feel like they're falling off, but I'm like telling them to be patient with me. Maybe they'll find it within themselves to like stay, stay, stay with me. So just a little quick tip. If you do have smaller chesticles, which there's nothing wrong with that. If anything, you can be more fashionable and I'm jealous. Try to find tanks that go in this pattern because it definitely boosts and scoops up your chesticles. You like chesticles? <laughs> Whoa! Remember that first outfit I tried? I bought one in green. Army green. I'm just gonna say BTS green. Ooh! This one gives a very like chill vibe. Don't bother me. I don't want your teeth today. It kind of gives you more of that I don't care. And I forgot to mention, I love long cardigans like this because your girls don't have a booty, we know that. But wearing something long like this to cover up that no butt, love it. You can't even tell. You can't even tell that my ass is broken from being too flat and having no cushion to sit on. And I love this army green because it matches my eyeballs today. <laughs> Um, ooh, the circulation to my girls are getting cut off. This tank is so cute, but it's too tiny, way too tiny on me. Although this might be a little bit too tiny. Okay, not a little bit too tiny, a lot too tiny. I'm obsessed with the tank itself. The color combination, I don't know what to say. Is it English, boy? Bye. Can you tell that today's haul is like the ultimate baddie lip hop haul? Baddie street girl, baddie vibes, baddie. Except it's a little time for me to have that attitude right now, so bye bye. This is a cute bohemian moment. So as you can tell, the straps, you have to tie them by yourself. So make sure you're doing that with the intent of not having a nymph slip or boob slip or a Linda slip. You know, I find this to be super cute. It's such a bohemian moment. I do really love this beige color on my skin tone and I feel like it'll flatter any kind of skin tone. This color with this style just have such a like innocent, simplistic look, simplistic. I feel like you can tie it any way you want. What if I wanted a halter top? I can do that. Oh my god, I can do this. That. That. I can do that. I am a vaginista. Oops, I forgot to show you guys the bottom. Bottom has a little bit more flare compared to the top part. The fringe is smaller. And down here, you have a wider fringe. This is the next scoop top or tank, you want to call it. Big scoop going on here. So it does make your busticle look a little bit more like... Mm -hmm. The quality of this tank is not bad at all. I do rate it like a good 8. It has this mini lettuce lace going around the top area. For a top like this, you'd expect like wider straps. However, this does come up into a nice narrow strap. This is super wide, which makes me look super wide. Because the straps land out here and there's not much right here, even compared to like a v-neck, you see how it kind of closes it up? Well, because this is entirely open, it just creates a broader shoulder look. Again, nothing wrong with that, but just not my style. I prefer something that will close up more. So for example, when I always talk about halter tops, imagine if this closed up like that instead of it being out like that. The eyeball draw right here. But if you have it closed, the eyeball draw right here. Do you know what I mean? Girl, girl. Do y'all know that I'm referencing how like BTS does girl? Oh my god, this has shoulder pads. Shell up pads? Yay! The fabric I like. I'm really interested to see how their shoulder pads are gonna sit on me because you know me with broad shoulders, I'm a little bit hesitant. <laughs> what if I cut the shoulder pads out? The shoulder pads. Ooh, that's me playing football. Oh my god, it has a cinch and I love her. We'll call it the stomach suicide. Perfect length. Except I feel like it's a little bit small. This looks kind of funky, like I'm a total Dorito. But, so here's a stomach suicide. And what I mean by that is it just snap it together. There's also a stomach suicide right here on the pants. But I don't need it. I really don't. I need more stretch if anything. The shoulder pads are kind of bothering me. It almost feels like when your bra strap is falling and you want to do this. I am considering just snipping it off, which is no big deal. She's a fashion designer, remember? Packets right here and this matching logo right here. What does it say? Honey. Oh no. Oh no. Show new. 
devil. No one was speaking of the devil. I got it in navy too. I know, I know, I'm trying. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll do that. So I came to the conclusion that I like this color more. You can't really see the bold shape of my tummy. So it really allows me to live my fullest without being conscious. And wearing darker colors always make you look like a little bit more slim. I personally believe that you should totally try this color, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> I need to relax. She said basic. She will receive what she asked for. A basic tank for us. As you can see, there are buttons right here. Ring like buttons. The straps are just whatever. They're literally whatever. It's just a tank. What do it is bad? It's quite strange. No complaints on my side. This isn't supposed to be part of the haul, but it came with my package. Blackhead vacuums that are pretty new and like innovative. And so if you want me to try them on camera, email my manager and talk to my lawyer. Just kidding, kidding. Um, let me know. <laughs> um, so this is a little bit see -through. I wanted to get a t-shirt. Oh my god. Faye? A t-shirt? The city of fun, Los Angeles. I don't know if that's true. Actually, it is true. I have so much fun whenever I'm in Los Angeles. I do like how it fits on my body, but it is see-through, so you do want to wear like a tank top underneath. If you're just a little bit more like you know human but I'm not human I don't judge and I don't care so and I do like how it fits on my sleeves it doesn't feel tight my wings also feel very sexy in this which is weird because it's a t-shirt you would think but because it fits well it just kind of makes me feel like I'm not trying backflip watch me do it I know how to do it one two Okay, so the next few things are actual accessories, bags, shoes, which are super cute. It's only the odds. And a few bathing suits, which is kind of late now. I mean, it's not August. Oh my god. Look how cute. So this is like a fishnet style bag. It is leather. Big leather, not real leather. We don't, we don't do that. And then there's a pouch on the inside. No, you cannot detach these two. I lie, yes you can. We learn something new every day. I really like this shade of lavender. It's such a like convenient bag. I'm not gonna try on the bathing suit because I'm sick of it getting demonetized. Hold on, let me take off my other bathing suit. This color combo is so eye-catching. Baby blue with a little bit of that nude and a little bit of that leopard. Rawr. Ew. Remember when we used to write rawr, XT. Oh man. As you can tell, there are booby pads that are chilling in their own compartment because of this divide. And there's an elastic band right here that kind of like glues onto your skin. Okay, already I can tell. First of all, what? Girl, okay, this is not gonna fit me. There's no way. No, it's a handkerchief. This fits my thigh. Even though these are one size, they're probably like in the size small, to be honest. See? This is also a bathing suit, but it's kind of like a crop top. I do really appreciate the full coverage you get. So if you don't want to wear a bikini at the pool side, then you could totally find something like this on Lip Pop. It's not as cute as <laughs> Why do the models make it look so cute? Not the right vibe right now. Well, you know what I mean. That's my argument. I got a brown one as well. I really wanted the mustard yellow one, but it sold out. So cute. Maybe I can squeeze into this. Look at my fingers. Oh my god, this is like a headband. The bathing suit itself does feel really good quality for a bathing suit. It's pretty durable and I do appreciate that because I didn't know what to expect, especially buying it off of Yes Style. It's actually really nice. <laughs> I also got this. This one for sure will be cuter. At the pool side, guys, this is more forgiving. I went for these and the reason why is because I do love my white sneakers. I want something I can slip into real quick, real fast. And it works out because I have a broken ankle right now. But also with this rose gold metal going across, at first I thought it was a little bit cliche. It's a little cringe. However, with the all white and just such a simple look to the shoe, it kind of brings a little bit of pizzazz. Also, it's a Velcro. I am a size five and um, Shoes. These are the next sandals I got. Of course, I love my little one inch simple strap. I feel like it brings a really cute sophistication to your toes. I'm having a hard time putting them on though because my ankle is not like all the way there yet. Ignore the bruising and the swollenness of my ankle still. I actually really do love the color of these shoes. I feel like I always gravitate towards this shade of brown. I feel like the straps will like snap off in a jiffy. The straps are a little bit too big. It doesn't feel safe on my feet. So this is the last item of this whole haul. I really like this nude color. The straps are so big, my feet doesn't really fit into the shoe. Is that a me problem? Well, that was a fail. Out of all of these, I like the white ones. But yeah, that is it for my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this $1,000 haul that I spent on YesDow. Let me know where you guys want me to shop from next. I really want to try high-end brands. Also, I want to do a video with my sister again where I try on her clothes in her closet. We've been meaning to do that, so let me know if you guys want to see that. Like the video. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye.